the Yosa 2 Y101 Kids Tablet, Kids Store Applications website, media content. Um, you can link this to Google Photos. You can also have this as a, a slide tablet. You can cast to a TV. So we have a Chromecast, for example. Okay. The, you can also set a time limit, right? So you can pick a date and what time, how many sessions per day. So that's a very cool feature. That's a pretty solid draw. Hey, this is a very great tablet for kids, whether it's Montessori, first learning, brain training, tons of things that you can do on this tablet. Here are a lot of different games. We've got some video, you can play music, of course, calculator, there's a, a kid stone that's trying out the camera. And the camera is, of course, pretty good, as you guys can see. And if we can flip it around, by this camera right here and then we should see me so as you can see very very responsive but when the baby outgrows this you can obviously uninstall all these kid things and then you can have this as a standard tablet as well stay tuned for the whole video all right so we just picked this up for the little one the yosa 2 y101 kids tablet the price was right 10 inches we wanted to make sure that we have a very easy to use operating system and more importantly that the case was drop friendly rubber edges that's a pretty solid drop. And we could stand it upright. Oh, that looks cool. like a fish. So there we go. Um, we also wanted to have a, a webcam. Um, so that way when grandpa and grandpa were, they would be able to see our child anytime. Um, also, USB-C charging port, micro USB uh, SD card, um, and then volume button plus, minus, and then this is your power. This is your um, audio right here, headphones. They gave you a charging cube and screen protector is already included on here and so are the parental control settings. That's a pretty solid drop. Um, nothing, let's turn this on, let's see if it's pre-charged. Okay, let's see how quickly it turns on. This is the Android Go edition. I don't have much experience with it. Uh, of course, we don't need it to be super slick, uh, but we do need it to be somewhat um, intuitive for the baby. Okay, what Wi-Fi settings, I want to go settings, okay. Well, we'll see how easy it is to set this up in a moment. It's been about 10 seconds and we're up. Okay, so time is already preset. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. All right, here it is. Okay, so fully charged battery. Okay. Exit, so it's a tour. Parental controls, login. Okay, so uh, parent password, default is 000. Okay, so kid store applications, websites, media content, whitelist. So we're not gonna get too much into it. We just wanted to just see how smooth this is. Okay, so you obviously have tons of different languages for the operating system. Android Path. Okay, so this is basically what you would see on the regular cell phone. Um, apps and notifications. Okay, now if you're an adult or when the baby outgrows this, you can obviously uninstall all these kid things and then you can have this as a standard um, tablet as well. Okay, the, you can also set a time limit, right? So you can pick a date and what time, how many sessions per day. So that's a very cool feature. So that way you don't spend all the days on the iPad. Um, stats, so this is stats for usage to see how much your baby or child is using it Let's exit that more settings in here but now we're going to go to the root here so you got your play store your google your folder so this is like with your google so you can take um, link this to google photos you can also have this as a, as a slide tablet but you are going to have to probably sign in yeah internal storage so there's 26 gigabytes free and there's 32 gigabytes on this um tablet so very easy interface just like any other android phone i'm not signed into a network yet but let's try connecting to our networks all networks so this is a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi i'm just gonna pause so you don't see my password okay so let's see here we need to go into bluetooth so you can obviously pair to external speakers you can cast as well so you can cast to a tv so we have a chromecast for example on all our tvs another big plus is that you can charge it with a regular power bank plug it into the USB-C. This is a very great tablet for kids, whether it's Montessori, first learning, brain training, 
tons of things that you can do on this tablet. It's very responsive. Of course, it operates just like a regular Android tablet. So you have all the same things that you would if you were using this as a phone. Um, let's see here. Here are a lot of different games. We got some STEM, we got some video. You can play music, of course. Calculator, there's a, a kid stone. Let's try out the camera. Let's go while using the app. And the camera is, of course, pretty good, as you guys can see. And if we can flip it around by this camera right here, and then we should see me. So as you can see, very, very responsive. So even the kids can walk around and take pictures if they want. And again, because there is 32 gigabyte storage in here, um, you can very easily um, record videos as well. So I'm like, I'm on video mode right now. All right, and I think now we are doing a recording of a video. There you go. Okay stop it and then we can go in here to preview so there you go there's your audio here so it works just like a regular cell phone and unfortunately we are in the age of cell phones so your kids are definitely going to be playing on the ipad let's go abc song tons and tons of little games they're already built in so you don't have to be searching around. You do have to kind of set them up though. And then you can always uninstall them because if you were to install every single one of these, you probably would run out of space. But of course you can go and put an SD card in there as well. So pretty nice little apps here. Let's try, let's try cuddly animals. So these are just some of the games that you can get on this tablet. On uh, This is the first learning. Uh, you can go arts and crafts because of course this is touch sensitive. You can go and let's go forest, draw and paint on here as well. Uh, so I'll let you go out of bounds. So it teaches you how to be within bounds. Um, let's go to them so you can get, get uh, solid and liquid So all in all, I can definitely recommend that this is not just a tablet. This is a very good resource for kids all the way from, I would say a month old, not that you want to have your kids staring at an iPad a month old, but all the way to like four, five, six year olds. So a lot of brain training activities, a lot of Montessori type of stuff, shape memory, tons and tons of applications that you don't even have to download. I'm sure they are available somewhere, but this tablet has them all built in. Uh, and it's very very easy to navigate and again as I said once you are done with this tablet You can uninstall all these applications and have it as a regular YouTube streaming or um, Word processing or anything else that you want to do with this tablet. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you uh, Have a great day